Hello guys, and we are here today with another very interesting deck profile. We are here today with our Halloween special. Yes, it's Halloween, guy. It's Monday, October 31st. So, happy Halloween, guys. And so, this is a zombie deck profile because zombies is very Halloween. -y. There's going to be so many people dressing up as zombies for whatever reason. That's just the standard thing. But anyways, this is a great deck. It's still pretty great. Like, I went over this deck not too long ago. So, I'm going to kind of, like, just go pretty much through it. It's just pretty much triple omega, but it has some great shenanigans that you can also pull off just to mess with your opponent. So we have Malicious here. He's very great in this deck, makes making your level 8s pretty pretty easy, honestly. Like, as long as you get to, like, a Plague Spreader or have access to even a Sage and you can summon out a Spectral Sword or something, he's great. He's great. Just being able to summon out another copy of himself by banishing himself from the graveyard. And then Zombie Monster summons out a level 4 lower zombie type monster from your graveyard. So that just helps with making your level 8 plays, because it's just like, oh, let me just summon out Uni Zombie. Or oh, Spectral, not Spectral, so it's Solitaire, so I can tribute him to summon out Uni Zombie from my deck. Mizuki is Mizuki, banish him from the graveyard, target a monster from, target a zombie type monster in your graveyard, special summon that target. So he's pretty key to this deck, because he's just like, oh, I'm just going to summon everything, and he's what you want to send to your graveyard. You want to get him into your graveyard as soon as possible. Destiny Hero Diamond Dude. Very great in the deck. He's just pretty much here, so we have more targets for Destiny Draw. But you really want to use Destiny Draw on Malicious. He's a great target on Allure. But he's also can be pretty nasty because his effect is reveal the top card of your deck, and if it's a normal spell card, it's in the graveyard. Otherwise, place the card on the bottom of your deck. During your main phase of your next turn, activate the effect of that spell card in your graveyard. So if you mill Allure, you still draw two cards and manage a dark. But hey, you mill Allure. Instant Fusion, you don't have to pay life, but you can still use it and summon up Norden. Get off a search, don't have to banish 10 cards, just draw 2 cards. Don't have to discard a Destiny Hero, you just draw 2 cards. You can still get your battle face, but you still lose life for each monster summoned. Not the card you want to mill, and these you can't mill. So he's pretty great if you do get him off and you get hit the right card, you can do some pretty nice shenanigans. But of course it's next turn. Uh, as soon as you say it, you can tribute this card, summon out a uh, zombie type tuna with zero defense from your deck. So that's Uni Zombie and that's Spectral Sword that I just kind of hit. Sucks to be Spectral Sword. Anyways, so that's pretty great just being able to summon out Uni Zombie and then Spectral Sword. And he also has the effect as if he's banished, you can target a banished Shunui monster and summon it. That results in some of the pretty great shenanigans in this deck. This guy is pretty simple. Either discard a card from a monster from your hand, and no, discard one card from your hand and target a monster. That target level increases by one. Or send a zombie type monster from your deck to the graveyard, and a zombie type monster can increase its level by one. So pretty much, you want to get Mizuki into your graveyard so you can use him as a foolish barrel. He's pretty great, and he's searchable with Sage and summonable with Zombie Master. And if you have Sage, you can tribute him, summon out any zombie, using any zombie to summon Mizuki, use Mizuki to summon. Out Sage. The only thing is, if you use his foolish burial effect, only zombie type monsters can attack. And then Spectre Sword is great because he's in the graveyard, so he's a card you want to discard. You can banish a zombie type monster, summon out a zombie type synchro monster whose level equals him and the monster you banished. Such so as this guy. And like I said, Sage, when banished, summons out a Shinui monster. So you ban Sage using Spectral Sword, and then Sage will summon out Spectral Sword, and now you have a level 2 tuner and a level 6 monster. Oh, hey, that equals 8. We can make Omega, or better yet, Crystal Wing. Really pretty great. Just so easy to make so many just different cards in this deck. More Mac Maxi, just for more consistency, and then Plague Spreader Zombie. He's just here because we're playing Malicious. He's... he's one of the best tuners in this deck. Honestly, I kind of thought about playing Globo, but Globo was level 1, so I didn't really see where it would be too helpful, but it would allow me to make Trishul. But either way, it's nice to have in this deck. Just put a card on the top of your deck, and you can summon him out, and that's pretty great. That's pretty great, especially if you have Malicious to make a level 8, or if you want to, you can make Beelzeus. And then, consistency-wise, we have Allure. Instant Fusion to summon up Norden, so that way we can make cards like Core Dragon or Go Your Guardian or Black Rose. Um, reinforcement of the Army to search out Destiny Hero Diamond Deed, so that way we have more targets for Destiny Draw. Desires for 
more consistency pretty much. I mean, there's a lot of decent cards to banish, specifically your spell cards that are Twin Twister or Soul Charge. That's kind of what you want to banish, so. Or Insta Fusion. So it's pretty great in that aspect, and of course, like, I wouldn't be too upset if I hit a Diamond Dude. And then Destiny Draw for more consistency, Soul Charge, just pretty great. Of course, you can't attack, but you can make the biggest field ever that your opponent won't be able to get over. More consistency, and then gotta get rid of back row, and there's a lot of cards that need to hit the graveyard. So sometimes you will have to, like, Twin Twister your own Upstar album just so you can get cards into your graveyard, so you can go off. And that's pretty much it for this deck profile. Again, it's just get out monsters and synchro. What you want to synchro into is Cypher and Lord Omega. So let's just go right into our extra deck. Some of the level 3 or lower from your graveyard. Ultimate is Orkham. When you set a card or set a spell or trap card, you can summon out a level 7 or 8 dragon synchro type monster from your extra deck. Such as Beals, Crystal Wing, and Scarlight. Which you can all make pretty easily without him, but hey, he can do it. And then Beals, he is the Diabolic Dragon, or as I like to call him, the Mega Evolution of Beals. Targets a monster your opponent controls, reduce its attack to zero, and you gain life equal to that monster's original attack. And this card can only attack while it's on the field. And if you use its effect, you inflict half damage. And then Beals, he, is, he just can't be destroyed by battle by card effects, but if you take effect damage or from a battle involving this card, it gains attack equal to that damage. Negates any monster effect, and if it attacks a level 5 or higher monster your opponent controls, it gains attack equal to that monster. So pretty strong. Runs over practically anything. Destroys all special monsters on the field whose attack is less than or equal to this card's attack, and then flicks 500 damage, 500 damage to your opponent for each. So you can burn your opponent pretty easily. That can be very nice. I mean, I think the max amount of damage you could do would be 4 on your side, 5 on your opponents, that's 9. That's 4,500 damage. So, at max, 4,500. He is just a beater, like, I never make this guy. You can take him out if you really wanted to. Um, but he's there because you can use Spectral Sword in this guy. Pretty much, he banishes the Zombie 10 monster in graveyard and it gains attack due to the banished monster's original attack. Till the end of this turn. So you can banish like Sage and you gain 500, or you can banish Zombie Master and he gains 1800. So you can be a beater and run over stuff, but we have stuff that can already run over stuff, so it's not the greatest thing to make. And then Cypher Lord Omega, three copies of, honestly, like there should be a rule written down with Konami that says if, some pe if people are playing three copies of a certain monster in their extra deck, they need to get, that card needs to get hit, like, if, because the extra deck is so limited that it's generally agreed upon that you need to run different monsters, so that way you have different answers to different things that come up in a duel. Like, yes, for example, Utopia the Lightning is a great card to make, but you probably also want to run Dark Rebellion and 101 and Castell. Like, if you just ran triple Utopia and triple Utopia the Lightning and didn't put in those other cards, you could lose out to, like, like a continuous spell or a field spell that you would rather cast out. But I don't, but with this, I'm not running other level 8s or level 7s such as Clearing or Stardust or other level 6 Synchros or whatever, or, or Void Ogre, Dragon. I'm not running any of those cards because I see Cypher and Lord Omega as such a universal card that helps in every circumstance. Because he does. If your opponent has no cards in the hand, they can't play, and this card gets rid of cards in your opponent's hand. <coughs> Sorry, I'm a little bit sick, guys, so my throat is very raspy. And of course, if he hits the graveyard, you can put him back into your extra deck and put another card back into your deck. Which results in a lot of good shenanigans. Black Rose Dragon just nuked the field. I mean, Excited Mind is banned for a reason. Go your garden, take a monster. He's just a great level 6 to make. He doesn't have a good effect. You just use him to make Crystal Wing, because you can banish him to summon out. Sa banish him and Sage. Sage summons out Spectra Sword. You summon out this guy. Now you can summon out Crystal Wing. Or go for a Siphon Lord Omega. And then Coral Dragon. He's a level 6 tuner. Level 6. Hey, look, Ultimate is Orchid. Or Beatrice. But you can discard one tar target card your opponent controls. Destroy it. And if the Synchro Summon card is sent to the graveyard, you can draw one card. I don't know what happens if you detach him. 
because says because I'm pretty much reading it as if this card is set to the graveyard, draw one card. So I think you should, because it doesn't say if this card left leaves the field and hits the graveyard. So I think you can detach him and still draw. But it could be wrong. Don't quote me on it. Don't, guys. No. And then we have Beatrice. Beatrice just two level six, and she's a foolish burial. That's pretty much it. Like we're not running any burning abyss fusion monster or extra deck monster. So there's no point for other effect. And that's pretty much it for the sacrifice. Again, it's pretty simple. It's just make Cypher and Lord Omega, get rid of as many cards from your opponent's hand as possible, your opponent really can't play, and then just make your big field and just start attacking your opponent as much as possible. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Hope you guys have a great Halloween. Hopefully it's very spooky. Hopefully this deck profile is very spooky. We have so many different zombie and dark monsters. So don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys later. Bye.